Hello and welcome back. Okay, today um, we have a Schlage Everest. Um, it's a six pin um, with the, uh, it's got a check pin at the back of the uh, lock, which this part of the uh, the key takes care of. Um, and uh, as you can see by the bitting, lots of ups and downs there. Everything needs to be picked. Um, now it is a stock lock and uh, obviously it all works absolutely beautifully. All locked up and let's see what it takes to get in. Um, now I'm going to use a 1.2mm um, Mad Bob pry bar um, and uh, just a broken pick to uh, take care of that check pin. You can feel it there and push it through and uh, that hopefully is the check pin taken care of. I'm um, going to use a DeForest Diamond and, uh, and then we're going to go in. Now this lock doesn't give a great bit of feedback. Um, the clicks aren't particularly uh, uh, loud and um, so I've got to concentrate. But I'll do my best. Here we go. Okay, pin one. Okay, that's pin one taken care of. Pin three. It's pin three. Pin four. That was pin four. Pin five. Okay, it's pin five. I did actually feel a little turn on the core there. Okay, pin two. That's pin two, and back of the lock, pin six. And we're open. Okay, so uh, nice and easy to open. Now, what I thought I'd also try is, uh, we'll just lock it back up, and uh, I thought I'd try it again, but um, we'll do the check pin second this time. Okay, so back in, um, pin one. That's pin one. Pin three. Pin four. I think that was pin five, kind of hoping so. Pin two. Six. There we go, pin six. And then go for the check pin. And we're open again. So it worked both ways, um, which is good. Okay, let's uh, see what's inside it. Um, I haven't actually taken this apart yet. Um, so uh, we'll just move the vice out of the way and uh, get this lowered down a bit. That's all good. Um, we'll lock it back up because we've got a key and uh, go from there. Okay, that's good. I'm locked up again. Okay, now on the back. Okay, so we've got a. Uh, oh, I can't really get in with that. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. oh, this could slow me down a little bit. Um, yeah, let's just try and get that open. See, completely unrehearsed. I don't think we're getting that. Okay, that's not good. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll come back and uh, I'll get something to open this up and we'll uh, take it apart. As I said, it is only stock lock, so um, it's, uh, I don't think we're going to find any surprises in there. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now we've got a tool to take the back of this off. So um, let's unscrew this. Okay, 
Thank you, have that there. And there's the tail piece. Okay, let's uh, put the key in. Get a follower. Okay, the key. six pins there now on the back side of this we've got the uh, the check pin there as you can see there um, as we take the key out check pin will come out uh, I'll tell you what I do we'll dump the uh, the key pins first um, get out of the way okay one two three four five uh, of course six put that there let's put that into there just get these arranged. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the tail piece key. Okay, now the uh, there we go. There's uh, the check pin. Just come flying up. Stick that over there, and the little spring. Said this is a stock lock, so I'm not expecting to find anything up here. Okay, standard, 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 and of course, last but not least, a standard. Um, all copper springs, um, all, all exactly the same. Okay, there you go. The um, the Slag Everest um, the check pin um, picked twice. Once with the uh, check pin taken care of first, and then uh, once again with uh, the check pin taken afterwards. Really fun lock. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to turn this into a challenge lock actually. It's uh, so hopefully next time you see this, it'll um, have uh, quite a few modifications. Okay, listen, take care. Thanks ever so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks ever so much. Bye.